I think I'm gonna always be somebody that struggles with weed in my life. Like I'll always do it and then stop doing it. And then do it and then stop doing it. And find balance, balance with it. So I don't go crazy in either way. I was thinking about my mom and how she loved the Beatles. I was actually listening to the Beatles and then it came into my mind. My mom, Becky, Rebecca. She said she was one of those, when I was younger, she would tell me she was one of those girls that would be like screaming <laughs> when the Beatles were on TV. She said she ran in. Remember the Beatles were on, I think it was they were on Ed Sullivan and she went on and was watching it and it was just, it, she was screaming and she said she couldn't control it. She was just screaming. And I thought like, that's, it's because like she's a genius and she knew genius when she saw it. And she saw and she knew what it meant for the, for the, for the world that, that the music was that these guys, these four guys, this band, these geniuses, like it was so immediately apparent to people. And people went, particularly women, I think, because, maybe because they care more about the survival of the human race. So when you see really genius men, you, you really freak out because so many guys get so distracted by sexuality that that they don't really access the genius but we can we inspire each other with other people's genius look for the others She's mine. Good day, sunshine. 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 just build in threes it's all math so interesting I love my mother it's just Max I just left me a message about talking about sexuality and like being attracted to your mother and like homosexuality and bisexuality so I'm gonna call him back and talk we're gonna like like existentialize about it it's interesting, that's always kind of been my relationship with him. We'd always like a ask each other questions. Um, I'm, I'm looking forward to going back to Ohio. I'm going back to Ohio for two weeks, April 25th. I'm going to be back in town for like two, 13 days, so I'm coming back. May, I don't know, 5th or something, 8th, anyway, beginning of May, I don't know, it's going to be interesting, I'm going back for Connor's wedding, Connor and Stacy, they dated in high school, Stacy, I dated her for like three months in high school, and then Connor, Connor and her were always like, they always had such a connection, but it was like, it's wonderful. It's amazing. They're getting married. Maybe they're getting married on the 5th. Yeah, they're getting married on the 5th, and I'm coming back the 8th. That'll be cool. I guess I'll make some videos back in Ohio from, like, my parents' computer. I saw. I was talking to Amanda the other night at Sacred Fools, and she was like, it's, it will be good for you to go, yes, you need it. And I, I knew it will be good to confront my fear of my past, to be this way my friends.
to be like let your guard down with people from the past. Okay. No, it's not hard. Thank you, Paul. It's not hard. You can do that. You can just be yourself with anybody. Just gotta do it. I'm gonna shut the video off now.